Hi guys! Good day! It's me, Teacher MJ. Our topic for today class is we're going to transform the given quadratic functions in the form y equals a quantity x minus h squared plus k. So without further ado, let's do this topic. This is actually what we call class the vertex form of quadratic function. So let's start with number 1. y equals x squared plus 4x minus 10. So first thing to do class, you separate the terms that contains the x values. So you can copy this one as y equals, you put parenthesis, x squared plus 4x. Then you put a space class because we will do the completing the square. And this you put this 10 on the last part class, this is negative 10. So you put negative 10 on the last part. Now we will be adding a new constant here. And what would be that number sir? To get that number, we will be using the formula. That would be b over 2 quantity squared. So our b class is beside x with the exponent of 1. So understood that the, the exponent x of x here is 1. So our b is beside x. Our b is 4. So 4 divide 2, then squared. Once again class, we will be finding that number using this formula. b over 2 quantity squared. Our b is 4, 4 divided by 2, that is 2, then squared. 2 squared, it means 2 times 2. 2 times 2, that is 4. So once you add 4 here, you will be subtracting 4 on the last part. Alright, so once you add 4 here, you will be subtracting 4 on the last part. Now you'll be asking question, why is that sir? Because if you subtract 4, if you comb subtract 4 by 4, or if you combine positive 4 and negative 4, this will be 0, right? Positive 4 combined with negative 4, this will be 0. And the equation is just the same to us. So that's why when you get 4 here, when you, you add 4 here, you will subtract 4 on the right side to make the equation balance class. Alright, so add 4 here, plus 4, then you subtract 4 on the right side, minus 4. Alright, and then you simplify, so this will be y equals x squared plus 4x plus 4, then you combine this one, negative 10 minus 4, if the signs are the same, simply copy the sign, then add the numbers, 10 plus 4, that is 14, so negative 14. And then next step, this is a perfect square trinomial, we make it into square of binomial, this will be very easy class. To make this one a perfect a square of binomial, just simply get the square root of the first term, the square root of x squared, that is x. And then you get the square root of the last term, square root of 4, that is 2. Then you copy the sign of the middle term, copy plus sign. Then you put parenthesis, then squared. That's it. This is just the same class. Even if you multiply this one x plus 2 by itself twice, let's check class x plus 2 times x plus 2. Let's check if we get this one, x squared plus 4x plus 4. Once again, class, when you solve a completing the square, your answer is a perfect square trinomial in which you can make it into square of binomial easily by getting the square root of the first term, the square root of x squared, that is x, is square root of the last term, square root of 4, that is 2. Copy the sign of the middle term, plus sign, you put quantity, then squared. So let's check class using the FOIL method. Do you still remember the FOIL method? First, outer, inner, last. So first, x times x, that would be x squared. Outer, x times positive 2, that's positive 2x. Inner, 2 times x, that's positive 2x. Then last, positive 2 times positive 2, that's positive 4. Then combine like terms. So this is x squared, 2x plus 2x, that's 4x, then plus 4. Same answer class. Alright, so no need to use the FOIL method class. Just get the square root of the first term, square root of the last term, copy the sign of the middle term, you put quantity, then square, then copy minus 14. And this will be our answer class. That's it. That's the answer for number one. Easy, right? For number one. So your A, if the teacher will ask you to find the value of A, H, and K, so your A is beside this parenthesis, check the equation class. So your a is beside the parenthesis. If you didn't see any number beside the parenthesis, understood that there's one here. So your a is 1. 
understood to be 1. There's 1 here, so your A is 1. And your H, your H is inside the parenthesis. Now, if this is positive 2, you get the additive inverse. Your H will be negative 2. Always remember that 1 plus. If it's inside the parenthesis, you get the additive inverse. If this is positive 2, your H is negative 2. And your K is the last number. That would be negative 14. Alright, all set for number 1 plus. That's the answer for number 1. Alright, so let me erase number 1. So you pause the video class, I'll be erasing number 1. So let's try number 2. So let me copy the equation y equals 3x squared minus 6x plus 8. So first thing to do, first thing to do, you separate the terms that contains the x value. So y equals, you put parenthesis, 3x squared minus 6x, then positive 8, plus 8. You put 8 on the last part class. Now, before doing the completing the square class, you check first class, can we factor 3 and x? Because if you can factor the number class, you need to factor that out. Because in completing the square class, the number before x squared, it should be 1 plus. Okay, the number before x squared, it should be 1. Before doing the completing the square. A while ago, the number before x squared for number 1 is just 1, right? Understood that there's 1 here. Now, this time, the number before x squared is 3. So, we cannot do the completing the square directly. So, we need to factor this out. Okay, once again, always remember, in completing the square class, the number before x squared, it should be 1. Now, since this is 3, we need to factor this out. Factor out the number. Can we factor this out by 3? Can we divide 3 by 3? Yep, we can divide 3 by 3. Can we divide 6 by 3? Yep, we can divide 6 by 3. So, therefore, we can factor 3 and 6 by 3, right? So, factor this out by 3. Just factor out the number class, 3 and 6. So, we can factor this out by 3. Then, you divide class 3x squared divided by 3. So, 3x squared divided by 3. So, 3 divided by 3 is 1x squared divided by none. Simply copy x squared. So, that would be 1x squared or x squared. Alright, and then... Negative 6x divided by 3. So, negative 6x divided by 3. So, negative 6 divided by 3, that's negative 2. x divided by none, simply copy x. Negative 2x. Then, you put parenthesis, then plus 8. Alright, you can always check plus if you factor it out correctly by distributive property. You check plus by multiplication. Distributive property. 3 times x, that is 3x squared. Then 3 times negative 2x, that's negative 6x. Okay, therefore you factor this out correctly. Alright, so next step, we need to add a new constant here. And we will do the completing the square. So the formula, that would be b over 2, then squared. So our b is beside x. So our b is negative 2. So negative 2 divided by 2 then squared. Once again, plus your b is beside x with the exponent of 1. So our b is negative 2. So negative 2 divided by 2, then squared. Negative 2 divided by 2, that's negative 1, then squared. So negative 1 squared, it means negative 1 times negative 1. This is negative 1 times negative 1. And negative 1 times negative 1, that is positive 1. So therefore, you will add 1 here. Now, be careful with this one plus. It's different from the first equation that we had. When we get the answer here, okay, by doing the completing the square, we add that number here, right? And then we also subtract that number on the right side. This time plus, this will be quite tricky. Remember this one plus. This is not our original equation. We factor this out by 3, right? Once again, we factor this out by 3. Our original equation, there would be 3x squared minus 6x. And we just factor this out by 3. Therefore, the number that we will be subtracting on the right side, that would be the product of 3 and 1. So, minus the product of 3 and 1. Always remember the 1 plus. A while ago, once we do the completing the square for number 1, once we get that number, we add that number here, we subtract that number on the right side. 
but this time this is not our original equation we factor this out by 3 that's why we need to get the product of 3 and 1 and that will be that number that we will be subtracting okay i hope you understand this one class get the product of 3 and 1 because this is not our original equation we factor this out by 3 always remember class that we have 3 here so once again, you get the product of 3 and 1. So 3 times 1, that is 3. And we will be subtracting 3 on the right side. Alright, so I hope you understand that one class. So this will be y equals 3 quantity x squared minus 2x plus 1. Then plus 8. Then minus the product of 3 and 1. 3 times 1, that is 3. Minus 3. So, this will be y equals 3 quantity x squared minus 2x plus 1. Then, 8 minus 3, that's positive 5. And then, this will be y equals 3. Then, make this perfect square trinomial into square a binomial. So, very easy class. Get the square root of the first term. The square root of x squared, that is x. Get the square root of the last term, the square root of 1, that is positive 1. Then you copy the sign of the middle term. Once again, square root of x squared, that is x. A square root of 1, that is 1. Copy the sign of the middle term. Copy negative sign. Then you put quantity, then squared. Then plus 5. That's it, plus. That's the answer for number 2. Easy, right? For number 2. So once again, copy 3. Get the square root of x squared, that is x. Square root of 1, that is 1. Copy the sign of the middle term. You put quantity, then squared. Then copy plus 5. That's it plus. That's the answer for number 2. So our A, so your A is beside this parenthesis. So your A is 3. Your H, once again, inside the parenthesis, if this is negative 1, you get the additive inverse. Once again, plus, if this is negative 1, you get the additive inverse. So your H is positive 1. And your K is the number plus. K is positive 5. That's it plus. All set for number two all right so that's it transforming the given quadratic functions into the vertex form so i hope you like this video if you like this video do not forget to like share and subscribe be sure to your friends and to your classmates so that we can help more students once again this is teacher mj have a great day class goodbye for now Bye bye